Hi, I'm Turkey. With me is Mr. Swoon. Hey. And we're going to be playing Silver Server for the NES. One of my favorite childhood games, even though I could never get past any of the stages. I, I want to give Silver Surfer a high five. He's trying so hard. Anyway, here's our story. Our surprisingly orange Galactus here. The magic domain. Um, magic in Marvel is basically Colossus' little sister who died and came back with like magic powers and whatever the fuck. So I'm guessing the magic domain is probably her house. We never see her in this game or anything related to magic, so... Whatever, let's get the MacGuffin from one of these bosses. Starting with Reptile. Reptile is another one of many obscure Silver Surfer villains. He's basically a space pirate with a ship that looks like Louisiana in this game, I guess. Um, his deal is he wants to kill Galactus and get his power. And Galactus is all like, hey, stop that. With his army of goldfish and rocket pack lizards and... That's about it. Is he really that much of a threat to Galactus with these guys? Nothing really is a threat to Galactus. He, he's Galactus. He what eats frogs? worlds. Can he eat frogs? As long as they're not poisonous not... frogs, I mean, he should be able no. to. No, just regular ass frogs. <laughs> well, when he was a kid, he'd go down to the creek and just scoop up some frogs and shove them in his mouth. Right, I should probably explain a little bit about what's going on in this game. Uh, it is a pretty white bread. Um, Side scrolling, vertical scrolling shooter. Uh, those little ball, that little ball I picked up earlier is an option. You can see I'm firing two shots now. The big red F's are fire up. Uh, if I get five of them, I'll get some pretty good powerful shots, which is I'm gonna need them because a lot of uh, enemies take a lot of hits in this game. Uh, you can see my options already powered up. Uh, also, I have bombs, which I pretty much never use. And scroll to the right and shoot shit. That is this game. So is there any particular trick to, like, actually beating this game and doing as well as you seem to be doing right now? I would say start with Reptile is a good suggestion because this is, I think, the easiest stage in the game. Uh, you can get a lot of good power-ups here pretty quickly. The enemies aren't too asshole-ish at this point in the game. Uh, just be sure to stay in the middle of the screen because enemies do like to come from behind a lot. Uh, the second piece of advice is never die. Ever. If you die, you lose all of your power-ups. Your options, your fire-ups, uh, almost all your bombs, everything. So, what you're saying is the strategy is basically don't fuck up. Yes. Callbacks. Yeah. A little something for the Turkey Swoon fans. But here's our first boss. There is our first boss. Um. Okay. I didn't even have time. I didn't have enough time to make up a goofy name for him. Anyway, on to section two. Uh, each stage is three sections, and they alternate between uh, side scrolling and vertical scrolling. So here's our vertical scrolling one. Aha! It's like an I... Escher painting come to life. You know, if I stare at it long enough, I think it's 3D. Uh, speaking of 3D, look at that. What is that? Is that supposed to be a wall, a dock? I... This perspective's I... all fucked up. I always thought it was a dock, but I can see the the peaking thing in the center, like the roof. Yeah, I don't understand the perspective. So you can see in the vertical scrolling stages, I have two options. In the side scrolling, I only have one option. Um, and I don't do it in this video, but I will start doing it later. You can press, I want to say the B button to, uh, no, it's not the B button, it's the other one. You can press the B button to change the positions of those options. You can fire to the side or behind you. That's really not important in this stage. It's a pretty easy one, but later on you're going to want it. It's kind of nice that with the power cosmic, the fragment of Galactus' great energy that Silver Surfer has, he can 
make a couple of balls appear by him to shoot stuff. Oh, he has to pick them up still. Like, the Power Cosmic does have his limits. Alright, those silver S's, those are one-ups. Which you don't really need if the goals just never die. Oh yeah, don't, don't even bother picking up one-ups if you're playing this game, because you're not going to die. Uh, also, there was that red S earlier that I picked up that I didn't comment on. I want to say that's a speed up. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, here's Fing Fang Turtle. Shooting his mouth babies at you. Oh. <laughs> you feel bad for him now. He killed all of his children. I didn't kill him, I just made him depressed. Yeah. Good job! And section three, which is always a boss fight, and usually really short. Do you make any more sad turtles? No, unfortunately. Aww. All right, so this is sort of a hint at where the game's gonna take you later on, because enemies you're gonna see here will come from behind a lot. And you, unless you play the level over and over again, which I kind of had to, you don't know when they're going to come and where they're going to come from. Like this. So your best bet is to stay in the middle, more or less. And here's the boss, a lizard riding on top of a lizard. That's Black Tyranno. No idea which one is a reptile. Doesn't matter, they're both dead. I think. Yep. Well, they're just standing there. Oh my god, that package. It's just one lump. Congratulations. Have a look. That's our prize for beating the level. <laughs> we get a peek. And we have piece one of the MacGuffin. And next time we're gonna take another piece from Fire Lord. See ya.